Being an actor in Singapore has got to be pretty tough because you're competing to stand out in such a small pool of talent and you've got to be really good. Now the question is then, how does one become a good actor? Well, for a start, you've got to enroll in a good acting school. And there's one school in particular that I want to talk about today. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. I mean, you don't have to, but it would be a lot cooler if you did. So this year, Everything Everywhere All At Once was the breakout hit that swept all of the awards during awards season. But it was this particular headline that caught my attention. Big recognition for Everything Everywhere All At Once, but what happened to Singapore film? Do we only support stars after they make it big overseas? That's a very interesting set of questions, and there's a lot of ways to answer this. But I think to begin with, it's a question about whether or not actors are getting the right training they need to succeed overseas. And there's one guy in particular who's been working hard at it with his own acting school. Hey everybody, I'm Steve Lim Koko. If you like acting, if you love performing, if you want to be famous in Singapore, this is your best chance. We want you. Yeah, that was a lot. So I think this is the promo video he used to sell his acting school. And it's just insane to me because he's got no shirt on. It's just in a random corner of his room with like a wrestling belt in a glass case in the background. Like there's so many things going on here, but he seems really excited about it. But then he goes on further to share a bit about why he has the qualifications to conduct this acting class. I'm doing performance since 2003. Okay, I started acting, okay, for drama. I acted for main cast for movie as well. Okay, acting in the main cast of a movie seems pretty legit. What cast and what movie? No idea. But also just looking at the comments in the live stream, someone said, can you sing She Bang? That's a deep cut. So I wanted to go deeper to find out what this acting class actually entails. And I came across this Facebook post on this page. So let's take a look. We welcome you to join our artist fitness team for incredibly entertaining fun and leisure time with Steven and Challenge Yourself. Instagram inbox or WhatsApp pay now me to join. PayPal, credit cards and NS55 credits are also now accepted. Not the NS55 credits. Are people going to really spend that on this? I'm not sure about that. Currently just 300 SGD one-time payment per person to join. We warmly welcome you. Experience the power of power. What now? Okay, $300 seems like quite a bit. Is this one class or like a series of sessions? It's not very clear. Come join, let's all make friends. Long-term unlimited instructors, consultations and retraining visits. Okay, now I guess this gives some form of duration or range of classes, but long-term and unlimited is so vague. Also, what does he mean by retraining visits? Like people need to go for rehab for this acting class? What's going on? Physical lessons currently at Orchard's high quality premium professional dance studio. Why does he describe the location as high quality premium professional dance studio? It sounds incredibly vague and a little sus. Unless that's really the name, then I take it back. Come, 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 come. Welcome all your friends to join. Super great fun. Uniquely Steven's entertaining time. Okay, so is this an acting class or is this a class where you get entertained by him? Or maybe both. It's not very clear. Okay, then it goes into the details of what's included. One, fitness. I thought this was an acting class. Why is there fitness on top of it? I guess he mentioned artist fitness teams. So it's like you're learning two skills for the price of one. Number two, kickboxing also may be extremely useful too in genuine life and death situations. What? Wait, when did acting become a life and death situation? What is going on here? So it's a self-defense slash acting class. This is the most insane skills future class I've ever heard of. Number three, dancing. Number four, singing. Five, acting. Okay, so number five is acting. Like, why is it ranked so low in this list? I thought acting would be at least close to fitness if it's called an artist fitness team. I'm confused. Number six, the list goes on. Confidence building. And seven, promos. You get promos? Like, you get special deals when you join? What promo? Okay, then there's a disclaimer that says, currently just $300 per pax, one-time payment, so very affordable. I mean, that's debatable. No refund, unlimited long-term instructors consultation, and unlimited retraining available classes. Yeah, so I'm not sure if we're still talking about acting classes here. And the way the entire disclaimer is phrased is kind of sus, like no refund at all. So I guess it's pretty clear that this is definitely not your typical acting class. And putting aside all of the concerns you might have about the financial aspect of signing up for these classes. If you're someone who plans to enroll in this class, you might be wondering to yourself, what actually goes on? 
And I thought we could take a look at some of these clips of the actual skits that they practice in the acting classes. Things not to do when driving. Action! Things not to do when driving. Please do not use handphone when driving. Oh, Very good! Okay, wait. So, what just happened in the first scene over there? So the guy and the girl were playing like a couple in a car and then the girl and guy just screamed because he got into an accident. And the scream is so hilarious to me because it sounded more like they saw a cockroach on the dashboard instead of like an actual accident that they got into. Don't fall asleep when driving. Watch out! Ah! Very good! Okay, I mean, I'm not doubting the fact that you shouldn't sleep at the wheel, but the sudden screaming and the guy running out of frame is just so whack. It's so wild. Ah! I think the lady could have definitely done a little bit more to act as if she was really sleeping at the wheel because her head was still upright and all she did was close her eyes. So it seemed like she could have been meditating for a second or like just daydreaming, not really sleeping at the wheel. But that's just me nitpicking what is already a very insane video. Do not drink and drive. <gasps> Watch out! Ah! Wait, 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 back up a bit. So the guy at the wheel was choking on something. Was he really drinking at all? I'm not sure. <gasps> the sounds that were coming out of his mouth were concerning. But then also you realize that there was a passenger in the back seat as well who was laughing it off like it was nothing. So yeah, this group of friends, drunk driving, not a good look. Oh my goodness, that was a jump scare. Like why did he just suddenly come into frame like that? <laughs> Out of nowhere. Don't race while driving. What, what just happened? So the guy in black swerved in from the left, cutting into his lane. But how is that racing or speeding? I'm, I'm so confused. And then he just walks off like he goes back to take control of the camera, I guess. What is going on? This is taking me for a loop. If you can't follow all these, get, get a bicycle! Wait, so what? That was the end message? to get a bike if you do all those things while driving. I feel like LTA needs to enter the chat, but I don't even think they know what to say. How to quickly settle a quarrel. Stand by for action. Rolling, action. Okay, this just changes the game because now it's a picture in picture and you can see the director's face really up close as he's filming the whole thing. It's just, this is cinema. Stay what, stay what, what are you seeing? Stay what, stay what are you seeing? You are very handsome. Okay, that took a turn. I did not expect that at all. It started off like a playground fight among primary school kids pretending to be gangsters. And then now one of them compliments the other for being handsome. This story is taking me to places that I did not expect. You are handsome also! Why are you parrot? You are so parrot! You are so yen pao! Hold up, I thought it was just an argument between those two guys and then there's a third guy coming into the picture. Where did he come from? You are awesome! Hold the phone. We gotta talk about that guy's fit. He came in swinging with that line, but also he's wearing like a t-shirt with the US flag, a really insane hat and shades. He's really committed to the role, so you gotta hand it to him for that. You, you are, are so amazing. amazing! Wait, who's that guy? He just came in out of nowhere with those ladies saying you are amazing, but he's got this like mask and shades as well. My immediate thought is that maybe he doesn't want to be recognized in these acting class videos, so that's why he's dressed like that, which is just so hilarious to me. Like, why would you pay for these classes knowing full well that you might get recorded like this? You are, you so, are so cute! cute. Lie! Go hey, pa tai! Go si, go si, si the kwai Yeah, begin our pros. Okay, so the whole thing just escalated into a compliment battle with everyone just coming in out of nowhere. And then it ends up with like a Chinese New Year greeting. I'm not even trying to understand what's going on anymore. Like I don't have enough brain cells for this. Royal Palace Pets. A long time ago in a royal palace that lived a beautiful empress. Empress! I'm the beautiful empress. Whoa! 
why did he react to the Empress like that? It seemed a bit much. <sighs> but I guess maybe as the director, he's trying to really motivate his students. So I appreciate that, but it's a bit intense if you ask me. A lovely Xiao Kai princess. And the Xiao Kai princess? Bring out the royal pets. Royal pets, come on, number one. I am the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so many questions. Where do I even begin? One, why is a tiger considered a royal palace pet? Is this Aladdin? Secondly, why did the director just laugh at his face like that? That seemed kind of harsh. <laughs> okay, so that was a cat. Seemed like the cat was definitely in need of some help, but at this point, I think it's a bit too late. Number three, come, hold this. Come, come, let's do this, let's do this. Come, go. Wait, what's going on now? He has jumped into the frame and someone else is recording. So he's playing another character. Like this director is really hands-on. So I guess you got to be prepared if you're enrolled in this class to be part of the action and also looped into scenes with him as well. And now presenting the famous transformative pet. Oh, the famous one, the famous one. You are a horse. I am a horse. I am too stunned to speak. What we just witnessed together was definitely something. One of the performances of all time. You are a penguin. I'm a penguin, <laughs> What even is happening anymore? So the lady then just declares he's now a penguin. And then he goes around like squawking like a bird and flapping a bit. That is definitely a penguin on drugs. Also, really amazing cinematography here with that giant finger in the frame. Kind of adds to the layers on top of layers of this film here. This is an acting class that will definitely break your brain. You! You are a dog! I am a dog! <laughs> okay, so now he's playing a third animal, but now I'm just wondering what happened to all the other actors in the class. Like, how did this just become the director taking on all the different roles. You are chicken go! That was terrifying. Like, he flipped the script, got the girl who's playing the princess to become an animal, and then she was just like, charging at the camera like a chicken. I'm not sure what to think of this anymore. So that's all of the skits that I'm mentally prepared to handle at this time. So at least you get a rough idea of what to expect if you enroll in one of these acting slash fitness classes. I'm not really sure if it's value for money, but you can definitely expect to have a very wild time with the director here. I'm kind of curious how the kickboxing and fitness aspects factor into this class, but maybe my brain won't be able to handle that information. You know what, maybe one of these actors or maybe even the director himself could one day make it big in the film industry, so who knows? But what I'm definitely sure of is that I'm gonna be saving my $300. YOLO, say no no. YOLO, YOLO, you only live once.